Hi guys, here's a uh, hi guys. <laughs> here's another question from a subscriber. It's Helen Smith. It says Naya, I can't turn my anxiety fight or flight off. What can I do? Okay, well the first thing that you can do is stop saying that. Never ever again do you say um, I can't turn the fight or flight off. Don't ever say that again because it's just simply not true. Uh, but every time that you say it as a creator God, then it makes it true. So, even though it's not a truth, you can create the illusion of it being a truth just by stating that with a lot of belief behind it. So, the first thing you do is stop saying that. Um, of course you can, you can stop it. Of course, of course you can. Uh, you just are used to having it on. And in the third dimension, really, a star seed was in fight or flight constantly. That's just, uh, we just couldn't do it any other way. Because everything that was in third dimension was scary to us. It didn't make sense. None of it made any sense. Well, you're in fourth dimension now. So the first thing you can do is go, okay, that was necessary in the third dimension. It was expected. You knew exactly what you were doing. But in the fourth dimension, we're at a higher vibration. It's time for you to take back control of this skin suit, and it, it will go with you. It will agree with you. So, it does take some practice, though, and that's why you've got to be in the now all the time. Because if you're thinking about the past, then it absolutely will kick you into fight or flight, because you're thinking about things in 3D, okay? Now, I, if you don't know, I have had a really, 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 really bad life. So it would be really, 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 really easy, and I did it for years, for decades, it would be really easy for me to think of something in the past that would trigger me into fight or flight. It would be so easy to do. But with what I know now, knowing that there's really no such thing as past or future, that there's only now, and there's just the illusion of the past, that I don't need to do that anymore. That none of those things are relevant anymore. So what I was taught, what most of us were taught, is this is how you do things. You go through your life, and you watch your life, and you look around, and you, you collect data, is what you do. That's what this brain of yours is doing all the time. It's collecting data, and the reason why it collects data is to keep you safe. So, if something bad happens, then you collect all the data around that event, and then you scan your next day... You scan looking for key things that happened around that bad event that caused you harm. Okay? And then you collect more data and more data. More, of course, when you're scanning and you're saying, Oh, I've got to look around. I've got to find what will hurt me. Then you're in fear. And that goes to law of attraction. The law of attraction does not judge. It is a mechanism. It is not a consciousness. And it says, Okay, you're vibrating at that. Fear. All right, I'm going to send you more, no harm, no foul. You can do whatever you want. It'll send you more events around you that will make you even more fearful. It will send back, what, three times three. So whatever you send out, it'll send back about three times what you send up. So let's say you're scanning. You had an event that scared you. You scan around it. You go, okay, what, what can I collect from this event that I can scan for continuously until the day I die to keep this from happening to me again. Okay, now you're vibrating at a fear level. It's a, let's put it, you're on a three. On a one to ten, you're now at a three. So you're vibrating at a three. And you send that up to the law of attraction. The law of attraction says, okay, you want to feel fear more? We're going to send you more fear. And so two, three other events happen around you that cause you pain or anguish or distress okay so now you scan around you go oh, oh i missed those i didn't see those i didn't collect data from this first event that that saved me from these new three events that are very different than the first event so we've got the first event that's one thing and then you vibrate and the law of attraction will send you three completely different kinds of events 
that will catch you unawares because the point is to catch you unawares so that you'll go into a deeper state of fear. So then what you're taught here is, okay, collect data around all three of those things. Now put those in your little brain and I want you to scan again because you need to keep all this data so that you can avoid being in fear again. So you collect all that data and now you go... Um, you, you now you're collecting now you're scanning for all three of those events and the first one so now you're scanning for all four of those events together all right that puts you at a higher state of fear now that goes that information goes to the law of attraction and you get nine new events that are completely different now it doesn't happen just exactly it happens like that but in the meantime in between scanning for bad things to happen you also do things like have a new baby wonderful wonderful event no bad things around it so now that vibration of fear that's appeared it's dropped a little you're still scanning you'll go back to scanning after you're used to after you are over the elation of having the baby. Because what will happen is you'll have the baby and be in total ecstasy. Then you'll put the baby down or, or, or the nurse takes it to the nursery. And now you scan harder because now you've got to protect this baby from all of these events. So now you include the baby. Your fear goes up. And that's how 3D was created. You're going to go up and down, of course. But it will keep you in this fear vibration because of what was created that's how 3d was created the experience of being in intense fear so how do you get around that how do you stop it well you have to stay in the now because if you're over 30 you have scanned so many times that you're collecting so much data that you can be triggered for anything uh, just about everything you can scan around and get somebody that looks at you sideways and you can interpret that as somebody that's getting ready to attack you or do you harm because a person 20 years ago looked at you sideways and then did you harm so now anybody that looks at you sideways now you put it on their oh you're you're at risk is that the truth absolutely not you're collecting data of single events and playing them out as as in what ifs what ifs and that is making you scared to death. Well, you need to stop with the what-ifs. What-ifs need to be gone. As a matter of fact, completely gone. Get rid of the what-ifs. What-ifs are irrelevant. Now you go and you go from the now. You have to really focus and get yourself to shut off that brain all the time. Not just in a meditative state, but you want to go into a meditative state to shut your brain off and then bring that into real life. As long as your brain is racing with data, you cannot be in the now. It interferes with that. So you have to get in the now. So if you only are in the now in a meditative state, that's only where you start, guys. That's only good for when you're meditating. Eventually, you're going to have to learn to shut that brain off all the time. Because if your brain is full of events from the past and calculations worries plans for the future then you cannot be in the now you cannot it's impossible so you have to shut that brain off and the sooner you can do it the better and then you can live in that now moment all the time you go now 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 so as you're walking through life and something triggers you but you're really really used to being aware of where you are in this now moment when something triggers you you instantly instantly take that trigger and know that you're in you don't throw you don't stop the fight or flight you em, you embrace the fight or flight so you take that moment and you say okay what's happening here what triggered me not because you need to get rid of each and every trigger that's not the point it'll take you forever it took you decades to get them there it's going to take you decades to remember and delete them you don't need to do that all you need to do is recognize that you've been triggered okay not what triggered i misspoke what not what triggered you but the fact that you've been triggered okay so in that moment you know you're triggered and all of a sudden you're in fear you immediately stop and go wait a minute i am a god i am a god there is nothing to fear period 
and you delete it. In that moment, you wipe out whatever's triggered you, and you can wipe out a mess of other things you're not even aware of. So every time you get triggered, become aware of it. Don't fight it. Let it flow. And then look at it and go, fight or flight. I got it from 3D, but I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Okay? I've remembered that I'm a god. I created all of that from 3D. All of that fear... All of those difficult times, all of those different events, all of those different difficult people, I'm the one that created it. I agree to it. Nobody did anything to me. Therefore, all I got to do is figure out how to create this better. And it's all good. There's no reason to fear anything ever again. Now it's just practice. If something happens to me, I get up, shake it off and go, Oops, I forgot. Went into fear, fell into the hole, got hurt. No big deal. That was just a lot of years of me doing things the same way in amnesia. I know what I'm doing now. That's old habits. Habits can be broken. They can be tricky, especially ones that are really, really deeply embedded with society backing you up. But no problem. I can do it. I can do it. So you just stand up. Face the thing and go, I don't need to be afraid. I'm a god. God here. God here. And you, whoever you are, that set you into fight or flight, it's not your doing anything to me. I somehow vibrated wrong, sent a message to the law of, of the universe and got back this event. It's event. So basically, you're going through the drive-thru and you ordered your food wrong. Get up to the driveway, open it up, and go, Oh, man, I am so sorry. This isn't what I wanted. Take this back. This is what I wanted. And redo it. It's okay. You can redo anything. Redo anything. Just remember that you are a god. I mean, big time, huge god. And someday, you're going to get out of this body, and you guys are going to laugh. I, You're going to laugh. You're going to be amazed at how much you fell into this this amnesia, how well it worked. Because I guarantee you, none of you thought that it was going to work on you. None of you did. None of you that are watching this video or will ever watch this video, you none of you thought that the amnesia thing would work. Okay? Well, hopefully, Helen, that that answers your question. If not, ask it again. And I'll uh, try it again. Okay? Alright, that's it. Please subscribe. Please like. And, uh, I guess, don't click off the commercials, please. I think they're, I'm, ma I'm making a little money from this. So, please support me in that, okay? Love you guys so much. Huge hugs. Bye now.